I don't normally share this one open mic, but since I'm only down the road where I grew up, this poem was about growing up. I came from a place in northwest London on an estate where when it rained it thundered. Just like them blocks with them stressed out mothers shouting and screaming like a bunch of fucking nutters. <laughs> <laughs> Stairways filled with boys, but definitely no brotherhood. Just a load of ruffians that will constantly try to fuck with you to assert their toughness. In a place where everyone starts to feel separate from that state of oneness. And so we blaze all day hoping that pain will turn to numbness because that hurt heart always hungers for any kind of intoxicating substance when the only benefit you get in life is the one that makes you feel redundant but welcome to London I hung around with so many cunts I became one of them <laughs> <laughs> roaming the streets of Camden where I would have took your Nokia, Ericsson or Samsung <laughs> just to get my hands on it's time to forget about where I came from to forget about the fact that I, like everyone else, was just a fucking wrongin' <laughs> in this place of little love and big problems. Where we all did stupid things because the biggest parts of our development was missing like it was just left dangling over our head like a carrot on a string. Mm. Sitting there wondering if life was ever going to be worth living. Dad on heroin and mum on the streets drinking. But welcome to London. <laughs> The place where you'll see people shopping in abundance. Walking past people on the street that look like they're dying of malnourishment. Welcome to London. A place where we don't get problems fixed, we just get them covered. I remember growing up so poor I was just closing doors to empty cupboards. Dreaming of going abroad, instead I watched them years pass by like Concords. I was 27 by the time I got my first passport. So until then, my only holiday resort were realms I travelled in an astral form. Like a metaphysical astronaut attached by this golden cord, I could go so far out I was able to teleport through to these dimensions to talk to these galactic lords about my problems on Earth and how they could no longer be ignored. They listened to my cries, then they showed me remorse, knighted me a warrior of light and gifted me a mighty poem for a sword. <laughs> to fight a subconscious war against all the dishonesty and pre-programmed thoughts. I went looking for the enemy in the maze of mirrors and yet it was only me that I saw riding around on my high horse. <laughs> Questioning if my intentions were pure or if my energy was coming through ego or life force. So it was then I drew my sword and I smashed down every mirror door and every bit of glass that crashed sounded like a round of applause. It was then I got my high horse transformed into a unicorn. <laughs> where we flew through the breeze in the mystic laws, and I was humbly taught that the path was the truth and that love was the source. Whoa. And never to give up or cut my mission short, but to keep reading my poetry in my highest form. Because mm. these ain't just poems, these are mantras. Yes. To break free from that dark spell of propaganda as I tried to activate the Kundalini Tantra. <laughs> performing poetry to form some sort of fan club. I'm just speaking my mind like I'm holding my hands up. Mm. Trying to connect to the common man and say let's fuck the system's plans up as we <laughs> gift hugs rise above and expand the one. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.